time for me to deliver to you my August favorites. I have a few little life updates for you for the month of August. First of all, August is my birthday month, so I did celebrate my 21st birthday this month, which is always an exciting thing. I'm a real adult now. I can't even believe it. And August is also the month leading up into the fall and back to school. Fall is definitely my favorite season. I'm not a big fan of summer in particular areas just because I don't like to sweat, and I sweat so much in the summer, and it's awful. So when fall comes and I get to pull out all of my scarves and boots and head back to school and get all ready for that, it's kind of like my favorite time of the year. So I've been loving that for the month of August. Also, for an actual life update, I have left my job at Mac. Uh, a few videos ago, I can't remember which one, I did mention that I was going to a job interview and that did follow through. So I have left my job at Mac to go back to the serving world during the school time. For any of you who are in university and are looking for a part-time job, I definitely suggest serving because you just get the most money for the shortest amount of hours. And yeah, unfortunately, retail wasn't really giving me the amount of income that I had hoped for during the school year. So yeah, no longer working at Mac. I did pick up a lot of stuff before I left Mac. So I think that my next video will be a haul. So keep an eye out for that. Oh yes, I also wanted to mention during the school year, I want to do two videos a week. And if there's any particular days that you would like me to do this, do let me know in the comments down below. But I'm thinking Wednesday for sure because I've got no classes on Wednesday So Wednesday will be an upload day and then just let me know what other day you'd like to be seeing a video from me Because I want to have a set upload date just to give me an easier schedule to work with know what I'm saying Okay enough blabbing I have only got makeup favorites for you this month And I do have a lot of makeup favorites and it's basically been this look that I have been wearing every single day I really haven't been straying from it. It's kind of been my go-to every single day No, not even kind of it's actually been what I have been wearing every single day for the last like three weeks so I wanted to share that with you guys and let's get right into it first things first okay <laughs> so lately I don't know if it's because of the change of seasons or what's going on with my face but my skin has been extra extra uber dry lately so the one day I went to Sephora and I was like yo girls hook me up with your most moisturizing foundation that you have in this entire place and the girl took me to this guy and it is the makeup forever face and body liquid makeup this guy is very much the same as the face and body it's a little bit less wet feeling on the skin like it's still a dewy finish but it dries more if that makes sense the Mac face and body kind of stays wet on the skin until you set it with powder this guy sets and absorbs into your skin very light coverage but it is buildable my favorite way to apply it is with the beauty blender of course I love the beauty blender I think it just gives your skin such an amazing finish when you use it but I also have used the real techniques buffing brush with it and I also really like that I just find the beauty blender a little bit faster so I have been loving this foundation it's awesome awesome for dry skin I definitely use it on a good skin day and then if I'm needing full coverage then I will throw on my Mac Pro Longwear concealer over top and the two mix together beautifully I've been loving that combination that's actually the combination I'm wearing right now except I didn't show you the Pro Longwear concealer so my apologies for that but I had just shown it a bunch moving on to the next one okay now I have written a full-blown blog post about this so I won't ramble on too much I will link that blog post down below but this is the Bare Minerals Hydrating Mineral Veil setting powder and I had been looking for a setting powder to use for dry skin something that won't flake and cake up on me and I have absolutely been obsessed with this powder. I only use it underneath my eyes and to set my t-zone. I don't touch anywhere else on the face with it because I don't need it because I have such dry skin. But they do have three other versions of the Mineral Veil that work for different skin tones and different purposes as well. So I will link my blog post down below. You can go see my full thoughts on that. But just know that I have nothing but good things to say about this powder and it is much more affordable than many of the other brands that are sold at Sephora. So love this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. So good. Next on the docket, I want to show you guys what I have been contouring with lately and it's just a very light and natural contour but it still gets the job done and I've kind of found my favorite brush to use for contouring which is the MAC 180 brush and I like this it's their longer duo fiber brush and I just like it because it just really fluffs into the contours of your face easily it's really fast it doesn't apply too much product so you don't look like a crazy orange person and I have just really been loving this brush for contouring and the contour that I have been using lately this is the Maleficent version so it's no longer available unless you somehow got lucky and found it but it is the MAC sculpt sculpting powder which can be found at pro stores and maybe online I don't know if you can actually buy it online um, as a non pro member but if you are a pro member you can buy it online if not you can find this in pro stores it is the same sculpting sculpt 
powder is just in a different package but I've been loving that because it's really ashy toned and it's kind of been easier for me to throw into my bag than the Anastasia contour kit but if you have the Anastasia contour kit same dealio I've just been using this for convenience purposes so then my next favorite is a blush and the blush I have been absolutely loving lately is the MAC Tenderling blush. Now lately I've been really sticking to neutral looks and I wanted a blush to complement that. I found a lot of my blushes, like even the Tarte Exposed blush, was very pink toned and I just wanted a true nude blush and was having trouble finding it and then I actually got this in my starter kit working at MAC and I had never touched it before because it just looks like nothing. It literally looks like a skin toned blah in the pan, you know? It, like, I just wouldn't ever think to go for it. But the second I put this on my face, I knew that it was my nude blush, like, just meant to be. We are just a match made in heaven. This has not left my face for the last, like, two weeks. Seriously, I am so in love with it. It's so good. I am wearing it right now, and I just think that it's the perfect nude blush. Honestly, like, I don't know... Uh, I don't know how to express my love for this. It's such a good blush. If you're looking for a perfect nude shade, obviously for lighter skin, <laughs> then try Tenderling. It is beautiful. Yeah. Never looking back. Never looking back. I have talked about my next favorite so many times, as has the rest of the world, so I'm literally just going to show it to you guys. It's the Balm Mary Luminizer Highlighter. It is just the most beautiful highlighter I have ever come across. I, I actually think I might have mentioned this in my last month's favorite, and I can't even remember, so I'm just going to do a little snippet on it right now. It just gives you the most beautiful, luminous, shiny glow on your face, and I am so... So in love with you, Mary Lou. We should be friends, okay? No, we should be more than friends. We should be mates. We should be love mates because I love you and I'm no longer making sense. So we're going to move on. But just know that if you're looking for a new highlighter, then you should get the Mary Luminizer. And you can find it at London Drugs in Canada. And I don't know where else you can buy it in Canada. But, uh, yeah, you should be getting that on your face be shining bright like a diamond. So I've got a few eyeshadow favorites that I have been using every single day to complete this eye look and I'm just gonna walk you through it right now. First things first, I take the Lorac Pro Palette. Yes, the original, not the number two. I can't get the number two because it's not available in Canada because the world hates Canada for some reason. We are outcasts. So, so we're sticking with Lorac Pro number one. All right, so first things first, I have been taking this cream shade all over the inner half of the eyelid and the brow bone, and I just use that as my highlight. I don't know why, but I've just been gravitating to a matte highlight on my brow bone Lately. no explanation that's just how it is and then in my crease I have found my holy grail crease shade and I'm pretty sure they're discontinuing it which makes me want to vomit in sadness okay but it is Mac kid and I have been using the crap hola out of this I've actually made a dent which is very rare for Mac eyeshadows to have a dent because there's so much product in there but it's just been my favorite crease shade and I pop that into the crease and then after that I go back into the Lorac Pro palette and I take a mixture of the nude and the champagne shade with a little fluffy brush and I just put that all over the inner half of my eyelid kind of blend it out don't put it too far in the outer bit because I just like the focus of the brightness to be in the inner half of the eyelid but I love those two shades mixed together and then I take my pinky finger and the nude shade and just pop that into my inner corner and then to finish off my favorite eye look I have been taking a mixture of the espresso and the black shade here mixing those together with an angled brush and just creating like a half faux winged eyeliner. But I've just been loving this for defining the eyes and thickening up the lash line without looking too crazy like you would a gel or liquid eyeliner, which I also mentioned in my last video. So if you want a more in-depth vision on how I create this eyeliner, then just check out my last video. I will link that down below. And then my final favorite for this month is this lip combo. I have realized lately that I am not a bright lip colored person. I just don't like colored or bright lips on me. I have no idea why. I just feel like I look really weird when I wear a bold lip and I've just been really gravitating towards a nude lip lately to go with my nude blush and my neutral eyeshadows. Can you sense a pattern here? Alright, so my winning lip combo starts with the MAC Subculture Lip Liner. I think this is just the most beautiful neutral lip liner. I really truly believe it looks good on all skin tones. And I just take that liner and I fill in all of my lips with it and then top it off with the MAC Honey Love Lipstick. This is my favorite nude 
of all time. I used to be so obsessed with Blankety until I discovered Honey Love, and Honey Love is just a little bit warmer. Blankety can look a little bit gray depending on the day, depending on how pale I am, so the Honey Love just gives a little bit of that warmth but still sticks in the neutral zone, so I love this lipstick. And then to top it all off, I take my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, and this is just my favorite neutral nude toned lip gloss that I have. The Butter Glosses are just an amazing formula. They last a long time, they smell delicious, and they don't feel sticky on the lips whatsoever, which is so nice. I hate sticky lip glosses and being like, I can't do anything. Uh. But uh, yeah, that's been my winning lip combo for the month of August. So those are all of the things that I have been loving for the month of August. Let me know what products you have been loving for the month of August in the comments down below. And as always, give me your video requests and suggestions. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. And I will see you in my next one.